Appreciate everybody being here. Um, Got to congratulate Purdue. Played a really good game. Played really hard. Um, you know, forced us to, to not play very well. You know, it's not about us just not playing well. They forced us not to play well, and you got to give them a lot of credit. They're well coached. They got a good football team. We play them really tight. I mean, think of the last six years, how tight, except one, one, you know, one game was out of the last six years. And uh, we didn't play well enough to win tonight. We didn't deserve to win tonight. And I believe in life, you get what you deserve. And uh, we did not deserve to win. When we're not playing complimentary football, uh, that's what it looks like. And it can be one side or the other side, but we pride ourselves on complimentary football. And we had our opportunities. Um, we throw an interception in the first half. You know, we're moving the ball. We don't get the fourth down. Felt like we needed to do something. And it only cost us three points, but it's worth it. I would do it again. I mean, we got to be able to, we got to be able to get fourth and ones. We missed a field goal. We throw an interception. We drop a touchdown. It hits us in the chest. I mean, that, that is not how we've played the last month, but it's how we played tonight. On the defensive side of the ball, we give up a, you know, a, a touchdown in, in, in the first drive, and uh, we settle down, play a little bit better, hold them to a field goal, uh, played really well for the majority of the second half, and then we give up some big plays. But again, it, we, just, we just couldn't find our groove, you know, and that falls on my shoulders. So... Uh, you you got to give Purdue a lot of credit. Uh, it was a really close football game, but, you know, as I, I, I sit down and, and, and write the notes as the game goes on and you're making adjustments, uh, we, we didn't deserve to win the football game. I mean, I mean, the only thing I, I think we, we probably tied in the turnover margin. I think you're probably three and three. Is that what it was? Three. I mean, okay, so we didn't put an advantage there. Um, tackling, missed tackling, making plays, explosive. We, 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 weren't, we weren't that. So, I mean, you live in that 22% world, as you all know, when you kind of share time with me, uh, it's really hard to win. With all that said, we had opportunities in the second half to still win the football game, and we didn't. Uh, but you got to give him a lot of credit. So, congratulations to Purdue, Coach Brom. He's a phenomenal football coach. Uh, they did a really good job tonight. Ten questions. PJ, can you update Mo's status and just the inability to run the ball? How much did they kind of throw you off? Yeah. Um, Mo was close. I think if we had a few more days, he would have been, been able to go. We kind of felt like he was going to go. You know, didn't, didn't think uh, as we went longer, it would continue to maybe stay as long as it did. Um, you know, he was out there pregame, as you saw him. He practiced yesterday, practiced Thursday. Um, he was at, he practiced Wednesday. He was at practice on Tuesday. Uh, but again, you know, we're going to do, we're always going to keep our players safe. And I listen to our medical people. I listen to our doctors. Um, and they've got Mo's best interest uh, when they're looking out for him, period. You know, not just winning a football game. Uh, he's one of the best tailbacks in the country. So if I say that, you know, missing him uh, doesn't hurt, I'd be lying to you. It, I mean, obviously, he's a really good, really good player. Um, but we've got to be way better. I and mean, we got two other backs that are really talented, uh, Trey and Bryce, that uh, we, we didn't block very well up front. I think that's what you saw up there. I, I think they dominated the line of scrimmage, which, I mean, that's, that's pretty much our MO. And if they do that, then it's, it, it's a game like that. And we still had our opportunities. That's the thing. Still had our opportunities. But he'll he'll be he'll be okay. You know, Mo will be okay, and uh, we'll have him back here shortly. What do you attribute the slow start to? Well, we dropped the check down. Right? I mean, everything's contributed to something, and they, they, there's no excuses. But there's everything's contributed to something, so everything affects everything. Um, you know, we punt on our – we're three and out. We drop a check down. We can catch puncture, maybe get a first down and go. We always talk about getting the first down – the first first down first, and then let's get going. We throw an interception, our second possession, right? Fourth and down, we don't get the, we don't get it, and that's three possessions. And next thing you know, you know we're down 10 nothing. So, I mean, I wish I could say, well, it was just this, but I haven't watched the film. I mean, we just didn't play well. And, uh, you know, all those details, Andy, we'll find out and iron out as we go through the bye week and get better. What was your message to the team after the game? Everything's in front of us. Everything's in front of us. I love this football team. We didn't play complimentary football tonight, but there was a lot of really amazing performances. But you got to put it all together as a team. And what you saw the first four weeks is complimentary football. And that's when we're at our best. When you don't have that, that's what it looked like. And it was a fight the entire night. This isn't about just one side of the ball did well, one side of the ball didn't. There's a lot of factors that contributed to all of that. But my message to them is everything's still in front of us. We have to get better. And listen, nobody's perfect. Even if you have a perfect record, you're still not perfect. 
right? Uh, we got beat tonight, and we're going to learn from it, and we're going to respond. And that's what this team will do. That's what our coaches will do. That's what I'll do. That's what everybody in the building will do. Uh, but again, you know, nobody's perfect. So we just didn't find a way to be able to, to find the way to win the game at, at the end, and they scored more points than we did. Just looking for a spark, and were you okay with the play call? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you know what? Yes, um, I was okay with the play call, especially getting an extra hat with the blocker. I'll have to go back in terms of the scheme uh, and just kind of look through that again. Um, but we needed wanted to gain extra hat with them loading the box. And again, we that's our short yardage package, and you know we do that in spring ball and trust the people who are going to be able to do it, trust the call. We just didn't execute. We got we got blown back. It didn't matter what call we were going to call their chip. We got blown back. So. Um, you know, that was unfortunate. But, yeah, I mean, it's a spark. I mean, you have you basically have – you, you punt in three and out. You have an interception. we got to get something moving, right? And, and you, you can't sit there and say, okay, well, if you, if you backtrack now, in hindsight, should you – you know, could you have done that? If you know the game's – you don't know the game's going to go that way. If you punt the ball back and all of a sudden they go down there and they have 14 points, that's what's going through your mind. Okay, knowing their offense, we're only three possessions in. They scored on one of the two, Right. Okay, well, they moved down the field pretty good with, with that. So you've got to make decisions accordingly to what's happening in front of you. And uh, that's why we made the call we did. Defense did a really good job and held them to three points. And that was a whole mission I had to have in the, in the back of my head. If it doesn't go well, we got to be able to hold for a field goal. And is that worth it? And I said yes. Is there any suggestion this, <laughs> this week in practice that they might not have been as sharp? No. Uh, no, not at all. I mean, they had a tremendous practice on Tuesday, really good practice on Wednesday. I mean, you can always dissect something. You can always say, ah, there's the reason. <laughs> no, I mean, no. Because uh, we've had times we haven't practiced necessarily well and beat teams by 40. There's teams we came in, or times we practiced really well and, and won. Times we really practiced well and, and lost a hard-fought game. We did not execute well today. And that's what it came down to. Coach, do you think, uh, it's, never good to, it's never good to lose, but do you think, uh, looking forward, do you think it's good that you Well, that's a great question. You know, the external sitting there go, well, they haven't been tested. They haven't been tested. They haven't had any adversity. Well, there it is. Right? Here it is. And, you know, this team's trained to respond to that adversity. You know, and I, I know they'll do that for sure. Like from your defensive backs today? I thought they were really aggressive. I thought they did a really good job of getting people on the ground. I thought they anticipated really well. We caught the ball really well when it was thrown to us. Uh, I mean, they kept us in the game on the back end. You know, we, we were able to get to Aiden a few times too, which, which made him uncomfortable in the pocket, but just gave up too many big plays, you know, here and there. And it wasn't a ton. Remember, I mean, you kind of look at all the how many times both teams punted. I mean, it went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We just – we get a big play and then, boom, something would happen where – you know, we drop a pass or we get, you know, we'd be in second and long and we'd run the ball and get a negative run. And it was, uh, it was, it was, it was like we were uphill all day. Did you feel Quentin ready and gave you a spark in that return game? Well, yeah, I got called back, but sure. I mean, the punt was really nice too. And he's getting there. He, he, you know, it's his first time back there. You know, I trust him back there. He's a great kid, works really hard. Did a great job on the kickoff return. You know, that would have been really big for us, you know, but, um, you know, just just too many mistakes, you know, when it comes to whether it's a drop pass or, uh, you know, a missed tackle, not in the right gap, uh, us as coaches, play call. I mean, we're going to look at everything, you know. So, I mean, that, that's just part of what you do. When you do it in a win, you do it in a loss. But I'm, I don't question how hard they play, ever. I mean, they played their hearts out. We just got beat. I mean, they played, they, they played better than we did. Do you expect that response to be uh, now that you're into your bye week? Well, I think all of them just get back, get back to work, right? We got a bye week, but we got to get healthy. We got to get some guys back. Uh, guys are dealing with a lot of certain things that are fighting through things, just like everybody else in the country. Uh, but I expect a, a response that's really positive. Can't wait to get back on the field. There's so many veterans on this team that they know what's ahead of them. Uh, they know that one loss doesn't doesn't affect everything. Um, we set expectations really high here, and that's okay. Uh, expectations are a good thing, but. We got, I mean, humble enough to know anybody can beat you. There it is, right? And uh, I expect a, a, a tremendous response attitude-wise and performance-wise from our players. Not that they don't practice hard. I say this all the time. I told you, I, that there's Tuesday practice. I'm like, all right, you guys, we got back down a little bit. Um, 
But when you watch them today, I mean, we just didn't execute. And we talk about one-game championship seasons. It's not about the external. It's about the internal. And all you have to do is execu execute the game plan how it needs to be executed. And why did we lose? We did not execute the game plan how it was supposed to be executed. Simple. And um, we weren't able to do that tonight. That's credit to Purdue. One or two more for Coach. Can you speak to the continued growth of Daniel Jackson that you're seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, Daniel Jackson is a really important player for us. I mean, you can tell he, he can play on the inside, plays on the outside. He's really aggressive. Uh, does really really well with the ball in his hand after, after the catch. And, again, he's still, quote, unquote, a young player, hasn't played a ton of football yet. So he's still gaining a lot of that knowledge. But we're going to rely on him heavily. You know, Michael Brown Stevens and Dalen Wright and Clay Geary and Lamecky Brockington. And, you know, the, but we, we've got to keep playing better. Everybody's got to be able to play to their standard and uh, take that very personal. And I know they will, but he's a dynamic player for us. He's going to be, um, and we trust him with a lot right now. How would you describe the issues on the offensive line yeah. today? I got to go back and watch the film, Andy, just to be like, before I give you an answer, I just know we got beat. Um, and there were too many times that push was going backwards, which we're not used to. So we, I, I'll have to get, you'll have to get me, you know, next week on that when I can give you a more specific answer. But, um, they did a really good job up front today. News front show kind of force on tape. Well, I think that when you watch them, I told you they. I think I said this. I, I thought they should have been four and zero. When you watch the Syracuse loss, I mean, it's really not a loss. It's really a win. And how at the end, it's a crazy way that they lost it. And then they play Penn State all the way to the wire and should have won that game at the end of the day. Um, this could have been a four and zero team now five and zero team that came in here and I think everybody have a different perception of of what's happening. And what happened out there, uh, we still need to play better. Uh, but up front, I mean, we knew that they would play really hard. I mean, we always do. We always get that type of effort between us and them. Uh, but we just we, we, we didn't play well enough. I mean, we didn't, we didn't move them well enough. But they deserve a lot of credit. They're a really good football team, especially up front, and uh, did what they had to do and had a good game plan against us, and we didn't execute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your time, everybody.